Okay, good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all are safe at home. Okay, from last class onwards, we are learning about MS Access 2010. Today we will learn how to work with tables in MS Access 2010. So that is our lesson, working with tables in MS Access 2010. Student table, student number. Here one drop down, this arrow will be there. 
you can click on that drop down box will be displayed with different data types that means numbers small text okay so text rich text hmm? rich text like that uh, in last class we have learned different data types memo okay, attachments hyperlinks all those different data types are there all those will be displayed in this drop down box whatever the data type you want that you can select and uh, select that okay then it will be assigned to the column name okay next to s name for s name i have selected the text now uh, you can select the text here again same drop down box here different data types are there you can select the data types here and in on top here you will get add field so add field whenever you want to add field click on that enter the field name and select the data type okay next again subject one or some data birth will take you know? different uh, data type no? uh, data birth will take here we will select data time data time you will select okay like that here only you can select the data type for the column name for the field name okay so add field is displayed click on that and you can write the column name here in the from this drop down box you can select the data type okay so after that according to that data type you can enter the records okay we have selected number no so number 1 so for the s name we have selected text so you can enter the text for date of birth we have selected date of time so you can select the uh, write enter the date okay uh, some date okay example is only no example i gave this okay like this you can enter the records in data sheet view in data sheet view directly you can uh, write the column names you can select the data types and you can enter the records after entering you have to save it okay what are the name you give that name will be given to the table the table in this on uh, this side a navigation pane is there there here tables are given in this table here here the name is displayed for the table whatever the name you give that name will be displayed for the table in the navigation pane okay so next one is design view next is design view in this design view we have two panes so the window will be displayed like this okay here we have the columns different types rows and columns are there here you can give the column name and its data type here you have to give because it is a design view so this is called as field grid pane this one is field grid pane grid pane here you have to write the column name and its data type and below that it will display the format uh, caption all those will be displayed here so those are called as field properties pane what it is field properties uh, properties pane field properties pane that means you can select uh, different properties for the field here what is the field as a number for this as number we have selected the number data type so what are the properties for that what is the size what are the description you want how the format in which format you want to display that uh, call that uh, field name all those you can select in the field properties pane okay so that is a design view so after designing again you have to go to the data sheet view and there you have to enter the records okay so next is how to uh, entering also we have completed creating table next is setting the primary key so after entering the records select the primary key so where it is in tools bar so in design tab tools bar after this i will explain the field properties okay design and in this tools bar you have to select the primary key primary key is nothing but the unique column name whatever the unique column name that you have to select as the primary key so last class we have learned what is the primary key the unique column that means which has a unique values and which 
doesn't have null values that means it should be entered the value should be entered with the primary key field select the primary key so suppose we have selected s number as primary key so some key symbol will be displayed in front of the column name some key symbol will be displayed so that it indicates that field is a primary key that is a primary key field like that we have to select any column name as primary key so to select the primary key that column should be unique that means each and every value should be different right it should not be null you should not leave that column unentered okay you have to enter a value but it should be different from others suppose for student number how we will give 1 2 3 4 5 or 10 12 13 14 like that or 1 not 1 1 20 1 30 like that so all these are different or not so like this different values and unique values you have to give for the primary key and it should not be null that means you should not leave any column empty okay so that should be the primary key that column you have to select as a primary key if you select any column as a primary key key symbol will be displayed in front of that column okay now we will learn about the field properties what are the field properties what is a field property so that field property is an attribute that defines a field's appearance or behavior suppose if um, some name is there if we want to display that name in different color that also you can mention in the field properties pane that means format you can change format is nothing but changing the appearance of the text okay so field property it uh, defines the appearance or behavior within a database so before we have discussed the below the in the design view below it will be there so there you can select the different different field properties now we will learn about the field properties so what are the different field properties which can field properties okay which can define your fields appearance in the database or behavior in the database okay first one is field size size you can set the size of the field that is for number you need some one byte or two bytes okay you can set one byte or you can set two bytes what are the memory how much memory you want that only you can mention in the size uh, uh, suppose four bytes or eight bytes so how much memory you want that you can mention in the size okay memory how much memory space you want that you can mention in the size okay suppose uh, some numbers will take one byte or some will take two bytes or some can take 16 bytes also isn't it that you can mention in the size how much size you want for the field that you can mention in the size memo second is text and memo field property okay for text and memo for how much we can select according to the file um, how much you want that size you can specify so it will be allocated according to that size the memory will be allocated same how much size you want that memory will be allocated for this text and memo field next third one is format so um, third field property is format format is nothing but changing the appearance the appearance of the text appearance of the text appearance of text in a field how you want to display how you want to display your text in the field that you can mention in this format that you can give in this format okay in this format we have three so for number and currency how we want to display and second is date and time third is sr for logical logical formats okay so i'll write uh, first 
here we will write logical remaining we will write up okay for logical what is the result you will get s r no or true or false isn't it only one s r no will display or true or false we will display that which format you want s r no you want or uh, true or false you want that you can mention in the logical format okay in this logical format next is number and currency second one is number and currency in this format the second is so third is format in this second number and currency how we want to display the number and currency in which format we want to display this okay for this number and currency we can display in general number we can display so general numbers we know general number like uh, 1 2 3 4 or 5 6 7 8 like this general numbers we can display okay next is currency so currency means with the decimal points currency with the decimal points we can display or 7.284 examples like etc we can display next is euro with euro symbol we can display the uh, currency some euros are currency euros are there no? like that with euro symbol we can display 1 3 4 0.7 like that or fixed numbers so some fixed numbers we can display with a decimal or without decimal we can display so all these are the examples examples for different formats for number and currency fixed Uh, next fifth one is standard format in standard form also we can display standard form next sixth is percentage in percentage form that means number with percentage percentage will be we can display the percentage also suppose 1 2 3 4 percent like that we can display so standard form is directly number only numbers we can display like this 5 7 So, and the numbers etc okay next one is scientific format in scientific format we will get plus e isn't it scientific format so some number 1.37 plus e like that we will get the different numbers in scientific format okay format means appearance we have we can set the appearance of text in a field so how we can set it For number and currency means you can select a general format. General numbers you can select, or currency or euro. In euros we can display. In fixed format we can display, or standard format with percentage. Percentage also we can display like this. Okay, scientific format. In scientific format also we can display. So these are the examples for these different different formats. Okay. Next in format second one is date and time. First, logical we have learned true or false, and for numbers we have these many different formats. Any one you can select. Next, the third is date and time. Third, date and time. So for date and time we can select a long date, short date, isn't it? For date and time we can select the long date. Long date means Monday. Okay, suppose tomorrow. Tomorrow is eighteenth. Eighteenth means the um, Saturday. Saturday, eighteenth of July, twenty twenty. Okay, okay. That is the format. Long date. Next is short date. How we will write short date? That means if you select this format, that will be displayed in the column. In that column. It will be displayed in this format. Suppose the date of birth is there. For the date of birth, if you select long date, it will be displayed like this in a big long form. Or if you select the short date, uh, it will display like this. 18 July 2020. Okay. Next, medium medium date. For this medium date, how it is displayed? Eighteen hyphen July fun twenty twenty like that. Okay. 
Next is general date. So general date, how we will write? General date. Like this. 18, 07, 20, 20. Like that it will be displayed. So next for time also we have long time. It means hours, minutes, seconds it will be displayed. Uh, suppose 12 hours, 5 minutes, 20 seconds. Like that. Okay? Or PAM or PM. It will be displayed. Next is short time. Short time and medium time. For this also we have short time and medium time. Okay? You can select any format to display this date and time. Whenever you display that, those examples I am showing now, in that format, those will be displayed in the column. Okay? You can display in any format. So, short time is 12, 5. So, medium time is same, 12, 5 pm. Okay? Like this. Different formats you can select. For date and time, what are the different formats we can select? Long date, short date, medium date and general date. For time, long time, short time, medium time. So these are the examples. I gave a uh, tomorrow date as example. Okay? Like this. So next, another field property. So this is about format. In this format, number and currency, date and time, logical. Three are there. For those, we can select a different format. Input mask. So input mask. It will control the uh, entry of data. Okay, it controls the entry of data. Suppose for date, example, how we will enter date? Hmm, date will be entered with the slashes or hyphens, isn't it? 07 2020, like this we will enter or 18 hyphen 07 2020, like this with slash we will enter or with the hyphen, isn't it? Hyphen we have to enter. So it will restrict it will it controls it checks whether the entry of the data is correct or not how we are entering this data if you enter mistakenly mistakenly if you enter then it will give you the error message okay it controls the entry of data so the example is date we have to enter with slashes or hyphens okay so next fifth one is Caption. So we can give the heading, the caption for that means alternate name for the field in forms. So alternate name. So this caption is nothing but an alternate name for the field. Alternate name. So if you want, you can give the alternate name for field. Otherwise, Whatever the heading you will give, that will be taken as the caption. So, this uh, its length is 2048 characters. 2048 characters. Until that length, you can give the caption for any field. The next sixth one is default value. Okay. Next is default value. So this default value, uh, you can add a new record to the table. Suppose if you want to add any record to the table, it automatically increments. We said now automatically increments and automatically decrements when it deletes any record. So that default value will be given for the record. If you want to change, suppose some roll numbers may start from 1 to 10, 1 to 3, 4 like that. Or some will start from 1 or 1, 1 or 2. Or some pin numbers. Numbers will be there. No? Roll numbers. Like that. So the default value is given. And you can change that value. Okay. For the column. 
Next one is validation rule. Next is validation rule. Next one is validation rule. So this validation rule you can set for any column to control the entry. Suppose example marks are there. Okay, for marks, uh, you are entering marks for 100 or 50. That you have to mention. Marks should be less than or equal to 100. That condition you have to mention in the fields property. Field properties. In this property space, you have to mention this validation rule. Suppose you are entering marks field. That mark should be less than equals to 100. That condition you have to mention in this property. Otherwise, what happens? You are taking marks for 100. Someone may enter for 200 marks or 300 marks. How they will know you are taking for only 100 marks? Further, you have to mention this condition. This validation rule in the field properties. Okay. Next, next one is validation text. So, it checks whether any violation is happened or not. Val validation text. So this text is when you enter uh, more than 100 bucks, greater than 100 bucks if someone enters. What you, will, what you have to do, you have to display some error message. Isn't it? Marks should be less than or equals to 100. That text will be displayed whenever you mention in this validation text that error message will be displayed for the user. Okay? Error message will be displayed. So that they can check and they can correct. Okay. Cancel. Okay, no? So they will check and they will enter correct uh, values in the field. So the next one is next is required. So this field is required or not that we have to mention in this yes or no that is that uh, field is required the value for that field is required or not if you want to enter it compulsory that you have to mention yes if you, you can if you can leave it null that time you can write it no so for yes compulsory you have to enter the value for the field if it is no, you can leave it null. Okay. Required is whether the value for the data, uh, whether the value or the data is needed for the field. Yes or no. If it is needed, you can uh, mention it as yes. If it is no need or you can leave it null, then that time you can mention as no. So next one is allow zero length. The, uh, this one can be mentioned. This one is given for text and memo data types. Okay. So next is allow zero length. This you can set for text and memo. These two data types you can set this text and memo. Okay. So if uh, the data if it is S required field is S, then both properties are set as if field can be the field can be left blank. Okay. If the required field is uh, previous uh, field. Required. If the required is set S, then it should also be set S here. Okay. Then it will be left blank. It will be left blank. Many field properties we will learn in next class. Okay. I will uh, show you the data sheet view and design view and how to select the data types and how to enter the records in a table and how to save it in the system so that you can Remember and understand better. Okay, children. Okay, now we will enter the data into tables in MS Access. Okay, I am typing MS Access ESC Access. We will select. Okay, in that we will select this blank desktop database. So here we can give the name for database. I am giving student here. Okay, we will create it. Okay, existing. So yes, I will press because. Uh, okay, next. What are the column names we have to write here? The column names we have to write. 
the first one is student number all right this is the auto uh, number so it will increment or decrement the numbers when you add or delete the records okay so next here different data types are there short text number currency date and time as or no look up so all the whatever we have learned in last class all those data types are here see hyperlinks calculated fields so that field also you had selected text or number currency as or no date or time all those okay so now i'll select short day short text in that i'll write student name so student name here so next another field number we will select okay mm, for that subject one and another field is again another field number i'll select subject two only two subjects we will take okay so another one is for class class we will take short text class for class okay next one is date and time we will select for date of joining or date of birth okay, now we will enter the data so student name what is the name just i'll write a here subject 1 34 some marks we will give okay subject 2 56 okay for class class is 8th class 8 and date of birth date of birth is some 12 Zero seven, some two thousand six. Okay, so that data date we will give. So see here number for student number automatically it has given the number here. Okay, we will enter another record. Two records we will check B and another subject is some more some marks we will give fifty six. And for subject two also, we'll give some marks. Forty-five class again. Class is eight. Date of birth. Another date of birth we will give. Zero seven, two thousand six. Like that we have to enter the data. See here this two for student number it has given two number. Automatically it gives you the number. It increments or it decrements. Okay. So this is the student number is primary key. Star symbol is there now. That is primary key. Okay. So now we have to save the table. Save it. See, we have to give the table name. I am giving student stud. Okay. Okay. See, whatever the name you are given, that is displayed here. That means your table is saved with stud. S T U D student. Okay. The database name is student name. See on the title bar, it is displayed there, and the table name is STUD Stud Diagram. So these are the records we have entered. Okay, and we'll go to the see new open these options. We uh, last class we have learned new means you can open new blank database. Open you can if you want. See student table is displayed here. Remaining another tables also displayed here. Save means we have to we can save this database. So next save as means with another name we can save it. Okay, again we'll go back. Okay. So like this we have to enter the data into the table. Okay, here view data sheet view. This is the data sheet view, and another one is design view. See here design view. We will see the column names and what are the data types we have selected that we can. See here, see and general uh, here field size. How much the field size? So what are the allow zero length compress? So all this uh, information about the data type is displayed. See we have selected this also not. See what I said. S number is auto number. It will increment or decrement automatically when you add or delete a record. This is the design view. So column names and the data types will be displayed here. Okay, again we will go to data sheet view. This is the data sheet view. Okay, we can view these two types. Oh.